This time on Adventure Holics, we drive along the south coast to discover its hidden treasures. We take tequila shots on top of a glacier, and we stop to marvel at two of the most spectacular waterfalls. Excuse my looks today, I probably look a little bit like the Unabomber or something, but it's been a bit of a hectic start to the day. Uh, I had to wake up early and uh, I realized that one of our tours, the Glacier Tour, had been misscheduled by the company. So I had to run into the office, talk to the people there about rescheduling it, and that kind of threw off our whole plan for the day. But I think we'll still be able to get everything in that we wanted to see and so I'm a little bit rough. Now I'm gonna go take a shower. Anna has made some breakfast and we're gonna hit the first waterfall, then go to the other places we wanted to see originally and instead of doing the tour of the glacier in the morning, we're gonna do it in the afternoon on another glacier. Thanks God that Iceland has so many glaciers that we can visit and we reschedule to go and visit. So yeah, no problem, just a minor hiccup, but uh, yeah, it should be good. Looking forward to the day, let's go! Because of this change in circumstances, we had to rearrange our original plan and even ended up backtracking for a bit to fit everything in before the sun set. Our first order of the day was to hike up to Svartifoss, one of the most unusual waterfalls of Iceland. After lunch we headed to the meeting spot, where our guide provided all the necessary kit to hike on a glacier. And just like that we were off to climb on top of Solheima Jokut, a glacier which is part of the Eyjafjallajökull Jokut volcano which last erupted in 2010. Believe it or not, we are walking on a glacier, and I know what you're thinking, why is it not white, right? Well, that is because the 2010 volcanic eruption, and others before it, have covered extensive parts of the glacier with a volcanic ash cover. But let me assure you, it is all ice under the thin veil of ash. After having a look around various crevasses on the glacier, our American co-tourists, the Iron City Grips, a film crew from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, decided it was high time for some tequila shots on ice. And when I say on ice, I mean literally. They had generously brought booze for everyone, and so we joined in the fun. This is 
ash mud from the last volcano eruption in 2010 here and Anna's just applying war paint on my face and supposedly it's really good for your skin so yeah we're doing it you look like a savage There's lots that can be said about the next place we visited, but sometimes it's best to say nothing at all and just live for the moment. They play me like a hollow drum Now I'm numb They play me like a hollow drum Now I'm numb up our day we tried to squeeze in one more sight into our schedule. The sun was already low on the horizon and so we had to run for this one. But in the end we made it just in time. Yo guys, we're walking back from the crash DC aircraft uh, here in Iceland. I ran the full four kilometers to get to this plane before the sunset to get some nice shots. Uh, was it worth it? Well, I didn't get the best shots, but we met some pretty cool people from the Maldives who uh, managed to get some good snaps of me and, uh, and Anna as well and the plane. And uh, they're pretty cool. They run a they run a company for excursions in the Maldives. So we'll probably be hitting them up once we uh, plan a trip to the Maldives. But now we're walking in the pitch black back to the car, really hungry and a little bit cold. I had to actually take Anna's car again. Go around and show them. There are no lights. Whatever. No lights, no nothing. Nothing, nothing. Well, just a little bit of the sun left. Uh, and yeah, we're just walking back. If you enjoyed this episode, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for the latest adventure. Links to all the places we visited in this video, as well as our social media profiles, are linked down below in the description. Again, thanks for watching and see you next week.